What is up, boys and girls? Today we are opening a Sun and Moon team up booster pack with Pikachu and Raichu promo cards, as well as this really, really cool Litten coin. And this, I've never opened one of these before, where it's uh, you get three packs. I think that's Roaring Skies, that's probably why I grabbed it. And you get a uh, special promo card. I'm not big on these, but this was only $7. So, for three packs for $7 and a bonus card, I mean, that's a deal. And then, of course, this was $4. So, I'm really excited to get into this, and uh, let's, just, let's just get into it. So, starting with this one. Let's see what our card is. We get a Xerneas. That gorgeous, gorgeous hollow foil that I love so much. That's really cool. Really beautiful. We'll put that there. And ooh, we got a Burning Shadows pack. Pray for pulls. Hashtag. Roaring Skies called it and XY Evolution. So we're actually going to start with this one. And uh, let's see what we got. If I can open it. There we go. Now let's see your code card for those of you that play the online TCG game and one two three to the front we have first and foremost the Pidget Spirit Link the basic Porygon believe it or not these were a uh, groundbreaking graphics back in the day so <laughs> we have a full heel the matchup which I might have mentioned this before or not but the basic set matchup Shadowless was my, this one's the shadowed one of course, but the Shadowless base set was the first Pokemon card I've ever, ever had. And that started this entire collection. Uh, we have Weedle, Doduo, Staryu, Onyx, Reverse Hollow Onyx, very cool. And at the end, we close it off with a Regular rare non hollow Mewtwo. Of course, this uh, this art by Ken Sugimori is just incredible. It's beautiful. This is a, this is just a very very beautiful card. And Mewtwo is probably one of the coolest coolest Pokemon there are in the world. Now moving on to the Burning Shadows. And your code card is that. One, two, three to the front. Starting off with Acerola, Acerola, Acerola. Not sure. <laughs> Dusclops creeping around in that cavern. Wonder what he's looking for or looking at. Maybe a Zubat. Simiseer doing his thing. Riolu running on the beach. Little, uh,. Lighthouse in the background there, having some fun. We have uh, Cutie Fly, Tynamo, which is the uh, the yarn. I, I call it the Kirby Yarn Stitch. I don't know if any of you have ever played that game, but it's uh, very much that art style. Let's see. We have Duskull, Inkay. We get the Reverse Hollow Turtornator. Very, very cool card. And at the end, a GX Galisopod. I don't actually have this one. I know I say that a lot, but uh, this, I don't have this one yet. So very, very cool pull. Very nice. Very, very cool. And at the end, of course, our fire energy that we don't care about. All right, we're going to put that in that stack. Roaring Skies now. I do have a number of these in my sealed collection uh, just stored just because I do that. <laughs> Can't really explain why, I just do it. They'll be worth a lot more in the future. There's your explanation and your code. Let's see, one, two, three. These cards feel thick. Starting off with Wally, Togetic, Ultra Ball, Fletchling, Pikachu. I actually have this one hollow also. P-Dove, Pie-Dove, Bagon, or Bacon, Bacon Dragon, Talo, 
Banet, one of my favorite, favorite ghost Pokemon is Banet. So, very cool. Being creepy with all the weird toys in the background. And at the end, we have Rayquaza EX. Very, 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 very cool. Look at that. Look at that shine. Look at that gloss. That is that is terrifying right there at that angle, but that is beautiful. Very, very cool. All right, now we're going to move on to our Sun and Moon pack here. I'm excited about this setup. I've been hearing uh, a lot of people aren't getting really good pulls on these things, and that's okay. I want you all to understand that this game shouldn't be about just getting the extremely rare cards. I mean, the the art on these cards alone is is, is very, very beautiful. It's very pretty. Um, and it should be appreciated. You know, we should appreciate the things that we have. And except for <laughs> except for energy cards. We don't need to appreciate those. Uh, let's see here. We have the Litten coin. Now, I actually call my cat Litten. That's not his name. His name is Mowgli, but... He looks like Litten, and uh, he reminds me very much of Litten, which is why this coin and Litten itself has a sentimental value to me. So, let's start you all off with your code card. Very cool. And the two promo cards that it comes with. I always, and I've voiced this before, I always love when there's more than one Pokemon in a picture. Which is what I was mentioning before. I mean, we really should appreciate this art. A lot of people buy booster box after booster box, and you see them just slide through the card, slide through the card, slide through the card. They just don't care. They want to get to this shiny, hollow foil. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But I do believe we should appreciate even the most minuscule things in life. And for Pokemon cards, for me, it's enjoying the art and the art style of the card, as well as the collectability of it. But that's a very cool Raichu and a very cool Pikachu card. So, let's get into Team Up Sun and Moon. This is my second one that I'm opening up now. Um, and then the Elite Trainer Box that I bought earlier that I'll be opening in another video will also be... Uh, you know what? I don't even know where I'm going with that. I'll just shut up. Let's get into this. <laughs> just rambling. One, two, three, I hope still. Heliolisk. Absorbing the sun rays. That's actually very, very cool. That's really nice. So a lot of this art is going to be new to me. Um, so you have to bear with me while I go through this. Buff padding. All right. We all need uh, thigh and shin guards like these to get through our days. We have Kabuto. Creeping around, looking like a prehistoric roach. Magikarp, gracefully swimming through the sea. Psyduck, panicking, as always. We have Vullaby, getting its dance on. Uh, let's see, Weedle, playing in the leaves. Yeah, this art is really, really cool. I don't know, and may maybe I don't know if any of you have noticed, but these cards feel a little thicker than they usually. The card stock at least feels a little denser. Let's see, we have Helioptile. So we get Helioptile and Heliolisk. Very, very cool. We have the Pidgeot. Reverse Hollow. Look at all those stars. Wow. And at the end, what do we have? A Mimikyu. Regular rare, very cool. Mimikyu, of course, is also a really cool Pokemon. And then the newer energies. And we can do that for you guys. So, as always, actually, I need to show you all the recap here of the cooler cards. Uh, let's see here. We got that, we got that, we got that. Let me run through here real quick. We got Galisopod. Probably should have prepared this better. All right, here we go. Give you your recap. 
the horrifying Rayquaza when you get it in the right light. <laughs> I mean, overall, some great pulls. Very, very cool cards. As always, remember to recycle. I'm always going to preach that. And uh, thanks for watching. The next video coming up will be the Elite Trainer box that we got in the mail.